What's up guys? My name is Rudy and welcome to Let's Play Children of a Dead Earth. We are going to be doing solar ties. We need to destroy a Nippon Prime fleet entering orbit around Venus. In the previous mission we got some hints about Nippon Prime working more closely with the USTA and now we know for sure. In fact, since Nippon Prime is so closely tied with the USTA economically, they're actually becoming quite devastated by this war as the USTA is responsible for supplying a large amount of food, air, and water. So, I mean, this war is essentially resulting in the destruction of Nippon Prime's economy. But, you know, obviously we don't care about this economic disaster because, I mean, we just need to destroy the USTA and we need to destroy this onslaught that they've sent at us. All right, so we can customize our fleet. They recommend a fleet carrier and a silo ship, but we're probably going to do something else. What does the enemy have, actually? Uh, one thing I'm wondering... The enemy does not seem to have any laser weapons. Oh, they have eight green lasers on this cutter. So I was kind of thinking I would just completely overwhelm them with drones, but if the cutter has these green lasers on it... Or, well, I mean, they'd only be able to orient two lasers at us, so... I think I'm going to give that a shot, actually. I'm not going to take a silo ship, because... Whatever, you know, silo ships, they're stupid. It's like, oh, I got some nuclear missiles. Great, I hate using missiles in this game. So we could take a fleet carrier with our Hellfire and Stinger drones. Yeah, I think I'll go with a fleet carrier, or no. I'm actually... I think I'll go with an escort carrier. 72.9 MC. Or I could also go for the support carrier, which is a bit more expensive. Yeah, I'll do an escort carrier. Bam. I want to take some of my beam ships for drone defense, so I'll grab four of my beam ships. Hey, what kind of fuel does the escort carrier take? It takes methane. It'd be nice if all my ships had the same type of fuel, then I could also bring a refueler with me. Also, an interesting ship that has been pointed out to me is the the Raider, which is also lightly armored, except for this massive prow section, which is heavily armored, and it is loaded up with cannons and railguns. So I think I'll grab one or two of these, or three of these. Yeah, I think three Raiders would be good. So we got the four beam ships, three Raiders, and the one escort carrier. A belt trawler. Ho ho, we could take a belt trawler, but it's 21 kilotons, that'd be stupid. Uh, I think the patrol ship is always a solid choice of ship, I think. Alright, I could take seven patrol ships, I think that'll be good. I could take- I'm not gonna take more coil ships, because I, I think the patrol ships will be fine. The patrol ships will provide me with long-range railgun firepower. Beam ships will defend me from drones. Escort carrier can provide good offensive power. It also has decoy launchers, and then I also have the three raiders just for fun. So let's get this going. We need to defend Venus from the Nippon Prime. I mean, I'm stuck in the inner solar system when I can be out at Neptune, conquering, and getting all the glory that there is. All right, so here we are in orbit around Venus. The enemy has a much more highly elliptical orbit, and we are much more circular. So being that we are close into Venus, we have to deal with much more gravitation than, say, if we were out on the belt. So we will have a harder time performing flybys or intercepts. Everything's going to be more expensive Delta V-wise, and we're more likely to get issues where we can't fly by in time or we can't make the intercept. I guess I'll just advance by an hour. Now the enemy should be launching drones. There they are. Let me try launching my own drones. I'll give them... I'll launch 20 drones. So they have 10 Lancer drones. So they have Lancer drones, but I have Stinger drones. I'm not sure what the exact difference is. Looks like Lancer drones have coil guns. So let's just go ahead for a few more hours and see what happens. I mean, there's, a, there's no time limit on this mission, so we can take as much time as we want. The drones don't really seem to be in any rush to intercept me. Well, while that's happening, let's see if we can get an intercept on the main enemy fleet. So I got my drone selected. I'll make the enemy capital fleet the frame of reference. 
Looks like there's an opportunity for an intercept of a drone fleet. I don't want to do that. I want to go after the capital fleet. Okay, so I'm burning tangent tangentially, and looks like I'll be able to get an intercept over here. And that should work. But I have a feeling they're probably going to defeat me. Because they have their lasers. Okay, so we have enemy drones. The Admiral, the good Admiral says hello. So let's have everyone orient broadside. And we'll of course have our beam ships ignore range for their lasers. And we just have the four beam ships this time. But hopefully we'll be able to take out all the drones. And the drones are falling like dominoes, except for this last drone. What's up? It's being eviscerated. I guess. Come on, guys. It's almost in range. It's about to fire its coil gun. Okay, I guess we took it out just in time. It probably could have got some shots off, but maybe it had a different target. So that's one drone fleet eliminated. Our drone fleet is in route. And let's see how this goes. Everyone is orienting broadside. We have our cannons. And, well, that's the end of the drones. I guess it's a good thing those weren't people. Um, so, note to self, Stinger drones are not durable at all to green lasers. I mean, maybe it's a difference between Stinger drones and Lancer drones. I can't remember what kind of type of drones they were using in Vesta Overkill that were also kind of tough to kill with lasers. I mean, they weren't too tough. I mean, they were a bit tough, but they didn't go down as quickly as Stinger Drones. So, I guess we can try and have our main capital fleet intercept the enemy now, since that proved to be a very blunderous and ineffective attack. Those drones were defeated handily. So that'll give us an intercept with the enemy fleet. And that should be good. Ooh, it's gonna be a, a sunny intercept. We'll get plenty of plenty of rays, you know. The sun will be out. And so we're gonna expand our orbit, slow down a bit, and then swoop in for the kill. And hopefully no other pesky drone fleets will interrupt us this time. Alright, well you look at that. There's Venus. So we're basically heading straight towards the enemy. Everyone is set to go, I think. Uh, orienting broadside, I guess there's not much more to do. Our turreted railguns will be in range soon. The enemy has some lasers, but they're extremely well out of range. Okay, let's uh, get this going. Our lasers are already firing, of course. And there goes the railguns. Enemy weapons, they're firing on the Halcyon Memory, the escort carrier. Defend that carrier! There's enemy fleet taking horrendous damage. We destroyed the Sakura, a hive ship. And it looks like the Chitose Corvette is down. Our beam ships are still providing deadly firepower. Deadly beam rays. Oh, our raider is firing. The cannons from the side of their their tip are firing. Enemies are no longer a threat. Nice. How'd the beam ships do? The four beam ships seem to still be intact. Okay, we took out the enemy capital fleet. Now we need to take out those drones. Derelict hive ship, derelict corvette. Did uh, did we lose a raider? Oh, we lost our uh, we lost our escort carrier. I can't say I'm surprised. I mean, an escort carrier would certainly be a highly valued target, priority target. So now we need to intercept the drone fleet and take those out, I guess, before we can actually win the mission. Not enough. Too expensive. We're missing just a bit of delta V that we need. It's probably because of the beam ships. 
We could try a flyby. Can't fly by in time. Damn. Oh, we can do this. We'll intercept the enemy drone fleet directly. And they just evaded intercept for no reason. It's like, let's preserve our drones. What are they going to do? I guess if they keep the drones around, they could uh, maybe do some commerce raiding. Though I have no idea who is controlling these drones. Okay, let's put them back, frame of reference, and we got another intercept. And let us end them. The beam ships are doing their job quite readily. Incoming transmission. Excellent. Venus will remain under our control, and the primary Nip and Prime invasion force is no longer a concern. You're welcome. So we got this done in one day and 19 hours, just a bit above the record. My name is Rudy, hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing and thank you for watching and I'll see you for the next mission.